Franken Tune Franken Tune Studio Hello and welcome. This is Enrique from Franken Tune Studio. In today's video, we're going to explore some quick and fun ways to add gritty, handmade textures to your typography using our new Procreate Textures Volume 1 Grunge Pack. Let's jump right in. I already typed this word, grunge, just to get started. Now we're going to edit it a bit. I'll double tap the text layer and pick a bolder font so we have a nice solid area to work with. Let's tighten the tracking a little. Yeah, that looks about right. I'll reposition the text so it sits roughly center. Then change its color. And the background color too. So we get some nice contrast between foreground and background. To center everything perfectly, I use Procreate snapping tools. Alright, that's good. Now, let's add a mask to our text layer. I'll grab any brush from the grunge pack. And here's something cool. When you hover your Apple Pencil over the canvas, you get a light preview of a texture before you even paint it. Thanks to Procreate's hover and barrel roll features, you can see the rotation and placement of your texture in real time. It's a huge time saver. No guesswork at all. Let's start adding some cracks and scratches to this text. Remember, when you're working on a layer mask, painting with black hides part of your layer and painting with white brings them back. Everything is non-destructive, so you can always go back and refine it later. Oh, and by the way, if you don't own this pack yet, there's a free version you can download to test it out. Look for the free and paid version links in the description. Make sure you're actually painting on the mask, not the text itself. You can use the size sliders in Procreate to fine-tune how big or small your textures appear. Let's add a few subtle horizontal scratches here. Yeah, perfect. Feel free to try different brushes from the pack. Each one gives you a different kind of wear and tear. This is totally safe to experiment with. You can always undo or repaint. Let's push it a little further. I create a new layer on top of a text. And add some spatters to make it even grungier. When you hover your pencil again, Notice that you can preview both the texture and the color you're about to paint with. This is super handy when you want to test how a certain color blends with your design before committing. You can also switch brush sizes on the fly to keep things dynamic. Small leaks, big paint bleeds, all that messy goodness. And if something feels off, grab the selection tool, swipe down with three fingers and cut out the parts you don't need. Switch your brush to eraser mode to sculpt the textures more precisely. 
you can really take your time here. Combine painting, erasing, and selections to carve out custom shapes and leaks around your text. Procreate, rectangle, and freehand selections give you complete control, so you can keep your strokes neatly contained inside those boundaries. Even though we're using digital tools, the brushes themselves are organic enough to keep that handmade look, that imperfect natural grunge we love. All right, let's move to the background. I'll create a new layer just above my background color layer. Now, I'll grab another texture brush and start stamping to create a quick texture backdrop. Use your size slider to adjust the stamp size and your color tools to tweak saturation or brightness. In this case, I'm lowering the tone a bit with the hue saturation sliders. You can hover, stamp, and then erase little parts of it to create a more unique feel. If you vary the size, color, and angle of your stamps, you'll end up with textures that feel custom-made, not repetitive or obviously pre-made. You can even save these backgrounds and reuse them later for posters, illustrations, or any other project. It's like having a mini texture lab inside Procreate. Now, let's add a finishing layer of grain. I roughly select the area around my text no need to be precise here, and paint a light dusting of texture over it. Then, I'll erase random spots to give it that uneven, natural look. Even when you use rigid selections, the organic nature of these brushes keeps the result loose and painterly. If you repeat this a few times, with different textures, you'll end up with a very layered experimental look. Okay, here's another fun trick. Let's group all our grunge layers Leave the background out Duplicate the group, hide the original and flatten the copy now we can edit the entire piece as a single graphic. I can freely make cuts, move fragments around, paste them back, kind of like ripping paper or doing a screen print collage. Don't worry about being too precise here. Rough edges actually make it better. The goal is to make it feel tactile and imperfect, like it was printed by hand.
you can keep adding new layers, new paint strokes, or even color accents. Each little tweak takes that plain grunge word we started with and turns it into something rich, worn, and full of personality. And that's it. That's how you can build layered, non-destructive grunge effects in Procreate using Textures Volume 1 Grunge. You can spend hours experimenting with these brushes, masking, painting, erasing, cutting, layering. It's pure playground stuff, whether you're working on lettering, posters, or illustrations that just feel too clean, this pack will help you rough things up in the best possible way. Thanks for watching and have fun experimenting. See you next time. Franken two Franken two Franken two Franken two Franken two Franken two